I'm a first generation dairy farmer. So I started when I was nine years old with my first Holstein calf and I was totally hooked. I didn't start 4-H until I was 11 and then went into FFA. So I, I at that time, really got into showing and so on. As soon as I was considered a Holstein Association member, in about 1963, I came up with my prefix, Skyheart. Uh, part of that being because we were close to the Skycomish River, and then part of it being our last name. That's where that originated. He started milking cows when he was like 12 years old. He was on test and shipping to Dairy Gold before he was out of high school. My great-grandfather was an immigrant from Germany and he moved first to Ohio and then he came out to the Monroe area right after 1900 and he bought this farm. He remembered the beautiful black and white cows from his home country and he wanted Holsteins. He took the ferry across to the Olympic Peninsula where there was a registered Holstein breeder there and, and he bought three heifers and a bull and that was his start in registered Holsteins. And then my dad came along and he continued the farm and that's how I ended up here. Eileen is probably the reason that we are where we are right now. Uh, her, her family's history goes way back on this particular farm and we had the opportunity to, to come here about four years ago. She's my partner in the parlor at the desk. Yeah, couldn't do it without her. My name is Maggie Bright and I'm a neighbor of the Hartzells. I live about a mile down the road and enjoy coming down here as much as I can in my free time. And I'm a relief milker when they need me and <laughs> helping out whenever I can. I think the biggest lesson I've learned is just how to work hard. They are truly the hardest working people I have ever met. Um, day in and day out, they're out here. They prioritize their animals, which is something I admire so much. Animal care and health comes before everything. You know, it comes before their own. I will always be involved with dairy. I'm not sure in what capacity that is, but to me, there's something so incredible about working with people who truly feed the nation. I mean, it's providing such a service to the world. Farmers are someone that I just have so much respect and admiration for, and dairy farmers specifically. I mean, working on the farm is hard work. and it's, It really, I think, sets a foundation for your future. Like, it doesn't matter what other lines of business you go into. You know, growing up on a farm where you have to go outside every day, rain or shine, that's what's a part of building that foundation, that growth, that experience. It was something I grew up doing, and uh, you know, once my uh, daughters got a taste of it, they were on top of it and wanted to do it constantly. They really enjoy going to the, going to the shows and uh, seeing all their friends that are also involved in that and the, the friends they've made through that and a lot of different experiences. It's something I love and so I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love doing it. I love being here every day. I like the early mornings and late nights of being here and helping out. Well, I wouldn't be in it if I wasn't in the Richard Holstein business. It's why I'm milking cows. Uh, I mean, I could go show something else and, and not have to milk and be here you know twice a day 365 days a year but but it's what I want to do and it's because of the Reginald Holstein that I want to do this. Since I was nine years old I've been working at this trying to improve without the papers without the Holstein Association there it's 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 the tool to provide you with all this information be able to breed the right cattle. I think registered Holsteins are just, it's such a mark of quality. It's a badge of honor, and it's something that you really get to see that legacy carry out through the generations. I don't know why anyone wouldn't, you know, have that registered Holstein badge of honor. If you got the best, why go down? Registered Holsteins are the queen of the dairy industry. I'm trying to breed a better one every generation. If you're satisfied with where you are, then I, I, I think, uh, you know, you might as well try something else.